Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Collum and I am the author and owner of Tops for Writing. Welcome to our online platform that gives you all the tools and resources that you need to teach writing all year long and make sure that all of your students are successful. I just wanted to jump on here and give you a quick overview of how to access and use all of our digital resources. Now, when you first log on, you'll be brought to your dashboard. Your dashboard is going to list all the courses that you purchase. Now for today, we're going to use the example on the screen using the fourth grade curriculum. When you're ready to access your lessons and resources, you simply click on the course. When you open the course, you will see all the lessons listed in order. These lessons are also organized by section, just like they are in the curriculum. When you're ready to access a lesson, you just simply click on the lesson. Now, when you open a lesson, you are always going to have five resources. Let's talk about each one of these real quick. The first resource is the teacher-led lesson. Let me show you what this one looks like. Now, the teacher-led lesson is myself or one of my top score writing certified trainers teaching the actual lesson that is in the curriculum. For these lessons, you can simply push play and the lesson will play for you. We also have built in self-assessment, reflection, and revision time at the end of every single one of these lessons. Most importantly, before you push play, there's one thing I want to show you that you need to do to make sure you have the best quality of every single video. See the, the gear icon here at the bottom right of the screen? Before pushing play, you're going to want to click on that gear icon and move it to 680. It will always default at 196. But when you make this video full screen to get the best quality, it's really important that you stick it on 680. So once you click on that, you can then make it full screen and you are good to go and play the lesson. Hello everyone, welcome to today's fourth grade expository writing lesson. These lessons will go over a review of the previous day's lessons then the objective for today's lesson, then you always have a modeling piece, a guided practice piece, and an independent practice piece. These lessons are identical to the lessons in the curriculum. So these are one options of a way to display or show your students the lesson. Now, if we go back, the second option you will see is where it says section one, lesson one, teacher lesson plan. Now, when you click on this, this is going to give you access to the entire lesson plan, all the activity sheets that go with the lesson and any passages used in that lesson. This is all a PDF that you can download and print for classroom use as needed. You will see here it has the actual teacher lesson plan, as well as the follow up student worksheets that will be needed for that lesson. Also, lessons that include passages will also have those passages in this packet as well. Now, if you do need to download this PDF, you can simply click on the top right hand corner here where it says download. You'll be able to open it in Adobe and print or download right from there. The next option you have once you've accessed your lesson is going to be where it says section one, lesson one student packet. Now, these are the student activity sheets pulled out into their own PDF. This is just make, this is for you if you want it to be faster or more simple, if you just want to be able to print the student activity sheets real quick. Of course, they're included in this teacher lesson plan on top, but if you just want to be able to download and print the student activity sheets for that lesson of the day, you just simply click on student packet and it will bring up those student activity sheets as well as any passages needed for that lesson. Once again, you can click on download and download and print as needed. The fourth option that you have for every single lesson is where it says PDF of the teacher led lesson. Now, remember these teacher led videos up here? All of these use a PowerPoint and we've turned them into a PDF that you can use in your classroom. So this PDF of the teacher led lesson is the PowerPoint that we use for that lesson. This is for you to use as just another way to teach this lesson to your students. It is the exact PowerPoint that is used in those video teacher-led lessons. And the last resource you will see for every single lesson is down at the bottom in this gray box. It says load lesson one. This means that that is our animated lesson. This is the lesson, the same lesson that's in the PDF, the same lessons in the curriculum, the same lesson that's in the teacher-led video, 
but this time it's taught by cartoon characters. We like to provide you with many different ways to display these lessons to your students and teach with lots of differentiation, just provide something different for your students throughout the year. So if you click on load lesson one, it will load that animated lesson for you. And again, you can push play and then click through the arrows as you go through the lesson. Now, if you do go back to this page, after accessing it, you're not going to see load lesson anymore. Simply refresh the page and it will show up again for you that you can press and access at any time. Okay, so as a quick review for every single lesson, you will have a teacher-led video of the lesson. You will have the entire lesson plan with activities and passages available in a PDF for you. You will have a student packet available for you. You will have the PDF of the PowerPoint used in the teacher-led lesson available for you. And you will also have the animated version of every single lesson. There are tons of tools and resources to make sure that every single student is successful in writing this school year. Now, a couple other things I wanna point out just to make sure you're familiar with the curriculum. Let's take a look at the teacher lesson plan. You will always see that the lesson and the objective is listed at the top of every single lesson so you know exactly what that lesson is going to be focusing on. Now, for lessons that use passages, I'm gonna show you an example down in section two. Starting with lesson 25, every lesson moving forward has passages that go along with the lesson. So when you click on that lesson plan, you're going to see at the beginning of every lesson a box that tells you what passages are used in that lesson. So you can see here for lesson 25, it says in the box, the following passages will be used in this lesson. So you will need the alligators at risk passages and the alligator habitats passages for this lesson. Now, this lesson PDF is going to have all the student activities and those passages available to you in this PDF that you can download and print. Okay, so just know when you open up those lessons that have passages, you will have it in that PDF packet available to you. If you do have the print curriculum, you also have a passage book that you could make copies of, but you can do it simply by just clicking on the PDF of that lesson. Now, let's say you were getting ready to, to, to teach lesson 27. Let's click on that and take a look. If you were getting ready and you wanted to make sure you had all the copies ready for your students for that day, you can just click on student packet here. And when you open it, you're going to have all the activity sheets and passages needed for that lesson that you can download, print, and make copies of. So you can see here, here's the modeling and guided practice worksheet. Here's the guided practice. And then here are all the passages that go with this lesson all ready for you in this PDF document. We hope that all of these tools and resources make your life a lot easier as a teacher, but also provide tons of differentiation for the student. We know that writing can get a little boring for students, so we're hoping with the animated version and the teacher-led version and you being able to use the PowerPoints that there'll be lots of ways to make it different and mix it up a little this school year so it's fun for the students. Remember, if you ever have any questions at all, you can always email us at digital at topscorewriting.com or info at topscorewriting.com. And if you need us with for anything else, you can always visit www.topscorewriting.com and you will have all of our contact information there. We hope you enjoy using our digital platform and I wish you a successful school year.